guys, here we are today to look at some of the uh, awesome VST instruments I've shared on one of my lessons. So if we scroll down here, we'll see the free orchestral instrument plugins, and they are awesome! We've got here some strings, brass, woodwinds, percussion, and keys, and I've downloaded the strings zip file by following that link. Um, so if I go to my downloads folder, you'll see the zip file sitting there. Double click that, because I have 7-zip installed. It looks like this. Um, or I could use the Windows um, Open With, Windows Explorer. That's the kind of view you'll get. So I will actually extract all of these. Now the folder I'm gonna extract them to, uh, firstly, I'll chuck it on my desktop, hey? So let's put a folder here. Let's just call it Strings and paste all of those into there. All right, so they've extracted. I'm gonna grab that whole strings folder and cut it, control X. Uh, on this computer, I don't have admin privileges, so I'm running a portable version of Reaper. And I will go into the uh, effects folder within Reaper and uh, let me see here, it's probably not where I want to go. I want to go to plugins actually, and then within this FX folder, I'm going to put my whole strings folder in there. And now when I go into Reaper, load that up. So now if I want to load those strings, I'll make a new project. I'm going to right click, insert a virtual instrument, and I can just say, hey, I want a cello. Load that one up. It says, do I want to have like 32 or 16 outputs? I don't. So I'll just say no, and it's going to be stereo. Um, so that's loaded up. If I go view virtual MIDI keyboard, you note the um, shortcut is Alt-B for that. Then I can actually play a cello. That's a little higher. Let's go a bit lower here. If I right click on one of those notes, it will center the keyboard around it. So C3, kind of good area. I could use the keyboard. Now I do find that the um, Wasapi driver is actually uh, less delay when I'm actually trying to play in. So if you go up to here, just change it to the Wasapi driver um, and uh, set your input um, to be just your onboard and your output to be the onboard one and it will be more responsive when you use the keyboard okay so that's how you bring in the cello and then you could do the same it's like hey I need a violin right click insert virtual instrument and get a violin and no I don't want it to be like multi-channel I'll just have one stereo so say no and here's our violin so if I do Alt-B, the uh, keyboard's there. Now, you note because I've got the um, cello still armed, that that is actually popping up. Interestingly, uh, the violin actually only listens to a, this sort of orange range that's on the keyboard there. And these other keys are actually going to switch between different articulations. So you've got your arco with vibrato. You've got your pizzicato. Um, which uh, I've changed the violin, but not the um, cello. Let's just mute that cello for a second. And let's come all the way up to around C5. And it's even like up here, the violin play. And now if I want to change to a pits, I can click on that one. Cool, so that's sort of cool. Let's switch to another articulation, tremolo. Kind of angsty already, it's 